Senator-elect Mitt Romney has not been sworn in yet, but he's already attacking the president. The Utah Republican writing a critical op-ed in the Washington Post. In it, he writes, quote, the president has not risen to the mantle of the office. In response, the president has tweeted, here we go with Mitt Romney, but so fast, and not so fast, question will be, is he a flake? I hope not. Would much prefer that Mitt focus on border security and so many other things where he can be helpful. I won big and he did not. He should be happy for all Republicans. Be a team player and win. Let's bring in the senator-elect from Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Happy New sure. Year to you. You too. Goodness, is this a sign of what's to come in the new year, in the new Congress? Sandra, let me tell you something. There is an acronym for the word team, and it's something my mom used with me when we were growing up. Together, everyone achieves more. And what Tennesseans are looking at is a president who has delivered on turning the economy around, promise kept. He has delivered on moving the embassy from Jerusalem uh, to Jerusalem. And he has delivered when it comes uh, to working, defeating ISIS, uh, dealing with China, dealing with trade, uh, getting us back on the road to economic prosperity. And Tennesseans want to see more of that action. And I'll tell you something else they want to see is that border secured. E clearly, you're seeing uh, the, the president's the president's team is not impressed by what they have seen here. And uh, Brad Parscale, the president's campaign manager, fired back before we even saw a response from the president. And he wrote, "Quote: The truth is, Mitt Romney lacked the ability to save this nation. Donald Trump has saved it. Jealousy is a drink best served warm, and Romney just proved it. So sad. I wish everyone had the courage that real Donald Trump had." This was in response to the piece that Mitt Romney penned. In it, he writes this, with the nation so divided, resentful, and angry, presidential leadership in, qual in qualities of character is indispensable, and it is in this province where the incumbent shortfall has been most glaring. To that, you say what? I say, as an elected official and as someone Tennesseans has sent to, to Washington, D.C., to represent them, they are saying, look, Marsha, do everything that you possibly can do to help keep this nation free and to keep it prosperous. And that is what they want to see me focus on, and that is what I am going to be focusing on. We need to make certain that everything we do, I call it the big five, Sandra, faith, family, freedom, hope, and opportunity. And every day my focus is on how do you defend and protect faith, family, freedom, hope and opportunity, and how do I help this president, this administration, and my colleagues do the best to make certain we hand freedom on free, prosperous, and vital to the next generation. Based on that, what do you, what do you hope to see happen at this meeting at the White House this afternoon? Here we are, day 12 of this government shutdown. What happens? Uh, I have to tell you, when it comes to the government shutdown, what you will hear people say is the president has made an offer, and it is up to the Democrat leadership to come to the table and exercise something on that offer. I was in the produce aisle at the grocery store, and a constituent, this guy came past me. He said, Marsha, I'm a veteran. I am an independent voter. Build the wall. Our citizenship is not for the taken. It is for the earning. And there are so many Tennesseans, Sandra, that feel that same way, that this is precious. And they want to make certain that our sovereignty is preserved, that our country is secure, that we're dealing with the drug traffickers and the sex traffickers and the gangs that are trying to come across that border. And they are saying, secure it. I had somebody else yesterday at the airport when I was coming to D.C. and they said, what is all this about non-essential employees? Why why do we have them if they're not essential? This let's secure our government. Let's secure our border. Let's get this job done. So, I think so they support you, the president. What do you want to see the president 
do today. Uh, it looked like there was room for negotiation on his part. There was a very uh, firm statement put out by Sarah Sanders on where the president and his administration stand here. So what do you want to see happen in that room? It's expected that, that there will be eight uh, members of both parties, leaders from the House and the Senate, that gather at the White House today to meet with the president. What do you want to see the president do? Final, final thought. You know, going into this, realize the Democrats have all voted for border security and a border wall in the past. They're not doing it now because they do not want to give President Trump a win. It is time to stop that. The American people want to see our nation and our border secured. And what I hope they go into that meeting room with is open minds and a willingness to do what okay. is going to be best for the American people. Well, the country will certainly be watching. It's all expected Absolutely. to happen this afternoon as everyone starts to return to Washington. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Good to see you.